So this is the Noto Arts Center. This was the uh, old federal post office that was uh, provided to us through a donation by Stan and Jody Teeter in 2014. It's our home offices and it also features an art gallery and we do a lot of activities, a lot of art classes, community events, meetings, those kinds of things. And then moving down through this district, we have just an array of different kinds of shops from home decor and antique shops. You, know, you have the open window. Carolyn Cox owns that in more of a home decor and repurposing uh, shop. Of course, you have the famous wheelbarrow with their gourmet grilled cheese and craft brews. Uh, it's a great uh, location, very popular location. And across the street, we have Ritzy's Closet. That's uh, a you know, women's clothing store, doing very well. Uh, we have a hair salon coming up here pretty soon. Generations Antiques uh, does very well. We're just passing by Warner Electric and across the street is uh, Ace Plumbing and Galaxy Glass, businesses that have been down here for years and years and years before it was you known as an arts entertainment district. Fairytale Gardens, Linda Warner owns that. Again, another example of a unique shop that you're not going to typically find elsewhere. J&J's Brew and Brew featuring from coffee in the morning to beer and entertainment at night. Coming up on Creations of Hope Art Gallery, which is a art gallery that is uh, under the auspices of Vallejo Mental Health Care. It's a uh, art gallery featuring uh, a lot of the work that is done by people who are using art in an expressive therapy and an art therapy format, as well as a lot of the other featured uh, artists and, and therapists that work with them. A muse gallery and gifts, not only a um, art uh, studio, but also the Prairie Fire uh, Winery is in there now. Noto Arts Place, again, an art gallery, as well as a uh, uh, provider of location for where artists can come to learn their craft and uh, to share information. Call River Rustics is a not only an antique uh, a gallery, an antique uh, store where different vendors, but it's also a place. Bob's Decor does a great work in terms of repurposing uh, products of various sorts. Really a fantastic job. Patricia Gallery Gifts and Tattoos, very popular across the street. Um, Jennifer Bolander is high in demand in regards to her work. Uh, you know, far, you know, quite a quite a long distance out in terms of getting a, an appointment with Jennifer and her uh, her colleagues there. Portico is another uh, high-end antique shop, which is some really nice materials. You know, across the street, we have Bradley's Corner Cafe. Been down in North Topeka for a long time. So I like to call it comfort food. Great, great breakfast, great lunch. Of course, the Roebuck, Roebucks have been down here for a long time. The more property management, they maintain a lot of the uh, uh, properties down, not, not, certainly in North Topeka and elsewhere, and a lot of the areas down in Noto. You know, we have other kinds of business. We have a uh, modern insurance agency that have moved in recently. Stutzman Leather, one of the only leather shop in Northeast Kansas, actually. Really high-end materials. Really a very, very nice place in regards to high-end leather, um, different leather coats and bags and purses, those kinds of things. Norseman Brewing Company, very popular, of course. They moved in several years ago and has just done a really great job in regards to a lot of people coming down. Um, not only the, the brew, which is great, but they feature um, art on First Fridays. They sponsor a lot of activities. Uh, they provide a lot of um, different events that go on at their location. And so they really have stepped up and are real leaders in this area. Across the street, you have Rusty Haggles Antiques. Dean and Hal Gardner have been here for a long time. 
a very unique shop, different kinds. They tend to specialize in office machinery and musical instruments, but they have a, an array of other antiques also. You have Pink, Piccadilly, which is a home decor, funky gifts kind of a place. Next to that is uh, Noto Burrito. Great place for burritos, it's awesome. Serendipity is the events place. Uh, Mystic Addiction Ballet Folkloria is uh, another interesting place. Two days market is, uh, they're only open two days a month, first Friday and, and Saturday, and that's their business model, but they're doing very well with it. We passed by 831 Studio, Barbara Waterman Peters is the owner of that. Barbara is one of the very first people down here in regards to opening of an art studio in the North Topeka area. We have an array of other shops that are down here, other service kinds of shops. You know, A1 Restaurant Supply, Restaurant Equipment and Supply, uh, Carmona Heating and Cooling. But I also want to point out, Noto is not just the 8 900 blocks north of Kansas Avenue. We have other businesses that are down around the corner. You have Stevenson Sheet Metal. We have uh, Station View Flooring. Also want to acknowledge that our neighbors, just to the south of us, Topeka Rescue Mission, are great neighbors. They're part of Noto. Great over to the stations are part of Noto. We left from the, uh, north, from the uh, Noto Arts Center, but just across the street are other shops and businesses that we need to acknowledge are part of Noto. Uh, including going down to Call Valley State Bank and others. Habitat for Humanity Restore would be another really important partner, important entity in the Noto Arts District. Four Girls Garage is another um, business that's been down here for a long time. Uh, they do a lot of, it's a lot of antiques, it's a lot of repurposed furnishings and decorations and those kinds of things. Um, again, they've been well established, been a big part of Noto for quite some time. Another place down on the end is Faces. It's, um, how do you describe Faces? It's an art gallery, it's great soul food, and it's jazz. I suppose it's the best way, but it's pretty eclectic. George Mayfield does a lot of different things he offers through Faces. So Front Door Catering is another. They're not right on North Kansas Avenue. They're off to the side, but they are a major part of NOTO. If you've uh, done anything at the Topeka Civic Theater or many other locations on the food truck festivals, you probably or hopefully have tasted front door catering. Really great barbecue and array. They do an excellent job. They're also looking at wanting to expand and open up a small bistro down in this area. So that'll give us another food opportunity in the Noto Arts and Entertainment District.